Um, I think we've had a pretty successful open house uh, the past two weeks. Uh, yesterday alone, we got 24 contacts um, mm. out of about 35 groups who came in. And then, yeah, we've just been having pretty good luck with this um, property. And, you know, my approach lately has to just been kind of back, backing off because we, I don't want to come across as commission breath. And out of this property, we got two buyers consultation because we know our shit. And when they hear us, they're like, oh, wait, what are you saying? What are you talking about the numbers? And then they approach you. But if you're hovering over them as soon as they get in and like, we'll follow them throughout the house. That's annoying. Like you don't even want to have that experience for yourself when you go to Sephora or something. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess Peter, if Peter's advice for me is like, you have to act like you don't need this deal. <laughs> and then um, I, I think that that works because commission breath is so apparent. And for me also, I try to get to know the person for who they are. Say if they came in with a baby, I kind of pay attention to lots of the baby and ask what their name is, how old they are. So building rapport over over the property, over the purchase. It's just really genuinely getting to know them. If they're wearing something that I appreciate, I'm like, I, ha- I would point that out. I'm like, oh my God, that is a lovely necklace or that's a lovely outfit. Where did you get it? So, yeah. I love it. I love it. So, <laughs> so you know, and, and this is also too, and I'm glad that you said this, Steffi. What I'm telling you guys about data mining, you're using that in your conversation to break down barriers, to break down walls of resistance. That's why you do that, right? Spend some time and, and find out like, who are these people? Like, what are they up to? Like, ask some really good questions. Be interested in them versus three bedroom, two bath, 25. It's the same thing, you guys. Like, if they're going to five different open houses, I want you to be the one that stood out and that they're going to call back. So really quick, Steffi, now that you had so many people at the open house, how many people or what's the follow-up cadence now? That's what I want to know. What's the follow-up cadence right now? So the follow-up would uh, be providing updates on the property. So say if there's an offer due date, then we let them know ASAP. Um, and then if anyone, I if any one of those individuals we've connected further and we know that they are looking for um, assistance, right? Looking for an agent, then we kind of hit them harder like we either start a group text right away send a video and try to get that appointment as soon as um you know the time works for them and yeah we got i had three consoles this week pretty cool 